Hi everybody, I'm Tom Gallo from Tactics Martial Arts, located in Elmont, New York, Long Island. We um, are going to review the grip on the Jungle Bolo from Tac Knight, which is based on the Professor's Family Bolo, uh, we, which Ed and I have been trained under Grandmaster Graham Frank how to use it. Awesome. Uh, Tac Knight asked us to review the grip on it, the rubber grip, and this is a classic bolo which has the cord. I had this already, so I decided just to get the rubber on this because it's too cheap to buy multiple ones. So we're going to review what we think of it. I've been playing with it for about a week. Ed has not touched it yet. He's been waiting for today, like a kid for Christmas, to unwrap his. So he's going to unwrap his and feel it. And Tell you what you think, and then I'm going to tell you what I think on the grip. Okay, so I happen to like the rubber grip. This is the rubber grip, this is the cord. You can see the difference. The um, cord is your standard. Every knife I've trained with for, I don't know, 20 something, 20 years maybe, has the power cord on it. Um, it's great, absorbs sweat, moves nicely, takes impact well. The rubber grip, I like better. It, it, it's more secure in my hand. So when I'm moving around, I can still swing it fine. I have no problem either one. I know that some people feel that the, uh, the cord doesn't take impact as well, but moves nicely when you spin. And this takes more impact, but doesn't move. This moves fine. I don't lose it. And I have an issue with grips. I don't know, my hands don't work sometimes, where I lose things. For instance, when I first saw the, the rubber, I thought it was like this one, which is more plastic grip. And I lose this all the time, especially when we train with knives. It just, they go flying out of my hands. You hit my wrist and it's gone. So I was a little worried. But when I got this, it was so much better. It sticks in my hand. I never lose it. Uh, I've been smacking it around. Corinne's just playing with it and I've had no issues. Uh, it just feels more secure than the cord. So, I like the rubber. And, and this one has more weight in it. So you would, so when, when you put uh, a rubber grip on this, you'll definitely have uh, more control. And again, it spins nicely. There's no issues with that. No problem. Okay, it's the same movements. But when you have it in your hand, you just feel this is definitely in there better. So this is my jungle bowl sent from Tac Knife. I have not touched it yet, as you can see it's still wrapped, and uh, I have, unlike Tom, I have not had any time at all to, uh, to work with it. So we're going to do essentially an unboxing or an unwrapping in this case, and I'm going to give you my true first impressions on the Jungle Bowl. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. This is the standard bowl, which... I have been using with Tom for quite some time now. I'm very happy with it, very impressed with it. I actually do recommend it. Um, if you're doing bolo work, this one feels good in my hand. Uh, the weight feels correct. Uh, the trainer has good movement. Uh, I find that I can control it pretty well. And um, generally, I'm very happy with this particular model. This is the Jungle Bolo, slightly different design as you can see. And the most important change just may be this rubber grip. We're gonna find out now. So this is a true unwrapping. I have not touched the Jungle Bolo until right now. Okay.
So first impressions, the rubber grip gives a really secure purchase in your hand. I can, I can really feel like this grip is part of my hand. I don't, I don't feel any hesitancy in the grip. Uh, it's very secure. The weight of this bolo, um, the weight distribution is lighter than this one, but the weight distribution is pretty true. I would say that they got that right. It feels like a jungle bolo. I have had the pleasure, along with Tom, um, recently of spending some time with um, Grandmaster Bram Frank, and I've actually held the Presas family bolo in my hand, and I can tell you that it's not a live blade, it's lighter than steel, but the weight distribution is pretty close. Um, comparing the two grips for the first time, I like them both, but I will say that maybe because it's a new experience, but I will say that this rubber grip feels particularly secure. Um, I was kind of worried that it would feel sticky or maybe um, hot, like a hot grip in my hand from the rubber, but I don't think that's going to be the case. It's, it, it, the way it the way it rests against my palm and the way my hand wraps around it is actually pretty natural. So I think it's going to be fine. But of course, we won't find out until we do a little training with it. So I'm going to hit the bag with the cord, classic bolo, compare it with jungle bolo with the rubber grip. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> no give in this one. A little, little bit of slip in this one. Not much that's going to make a huge difference. But this definitely feels more secure when it hits that peg than this one. This slips a little, a little slip, but again, nothing is going to make a huge difference. So it's personal preference. I like this one. So again, this is literally the first thing I've done with the Jungle Bowl. Um, so as a comparison, I'm going to start with the familiar, all right, with the cord. And it feels fine. It takes impact well, it stays secure in my hand. There's a little bit of forgiveness in the grip. Um, but again, on impact, you want a little bit of forgiveness because you don't want the shock to go up your arm or your wrist. Um, the bag reasonably hard and it feels like it always feels. I'm, I've always been uh, very happy with the way this bolo um, has responded when we practice. First shots with the jungle bolo with the rubber grip that I've never tried before. say I like it. Um, it's less forgiving on impact. But because the rubber absorbs some of that shock, I don't necessarily need that forgiveness that I need in the cord on impact. This grip seems to really absorb the shock of the impact and allows the but would have stayed true in my hand. Um, I'm going to have to say this. I'm personally surprised. I really thought I was going to like the cord better because uh, I'm kind of a traditionalist. 
but I have to admit that this rubber grip feels surprisingly natural in my hand and comfortable. Um, but I guess the real test will come if we train a little bit. Yep. Hit that again. Hit that. Same, same pound. Now hit with that. You get a difference. Yeah. You have more power with that, and that's a heavier blade. This is a heavier so blade. you would think you'd have more power. Yeah, I think I think the because the rubber is more secure in my hand, I might be delivering more kinetic energy from the stroke into the target. Um, now, in the real world, if these were live blades, if you got cut with either one of them, it would work. Um, <laughs> and again, I'm. First time, this is my very first impression with it, but I'm surprised just how comfortable this is in my hand and how you have a confident grip. I guess that's the best yeah, way I can put it. It's a confident grip. Good description. So let's train a little bit. Let's go. Works. So we're going to start with the classic bowl of design. And uh, just as a point of reference, we're going to do a basic impact and defense drill. Nothing fancy. Uh, just so that we can get a feel for the uh, cord grip on impact, and then we're going to switch to the other design. So this is just like a baseline reference. Now we're going to switch to the jungle bolo and do the same basic drill. So <clears throat> one thing you can one thing you can tell just by the sound is um, the heavier bolo uh, not only delivers but receives a pretty hard impact. Um, the cord grip was more than sufficient to absorb the shot, keep control of the trainer in my hand. Same, I would say it's the same experience we, we always have with the yeah. user. The new for me, brand new jungle ball. Um, it's a lighter design, and yet, even though Tom hit me probably the same same force, because of the rubber grip, I didn't feel like I was taking any more shock to my hand or wrist or arm. Um, I think that. Um, the impact um, was no harder to control than with the standard, and I think the grip actually made it a little more sure on, on impact. It was like we said earlier; it was a little less play. This is a very true purchase in your hand. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I turned the air off so my hands would get sweaty. Ah, smart. Yes, and. I definitely felt more slip in this, especially since it's a heavier uh, blade coming at me. This had no no slip. It was definitely uh, a more secure grip than this. Even when I do this, I can feel a little movement in here, and nothing in here. So it felt good. And this, like I said, my hands are all sweaty, my palms are sweaty, and it sticks nicely. It's not sticky. I think you right. mentioned you were worried it was going to be a I sticky rubber. I was afraid rubber. that it was going to be sticky, especially as we started training. It is getting warmer in here. Um, but I don't feel that at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the last thing we want to test is we've done like against like. Now we're going to do unlike. So we're going to use the heavier bolo against the jungle bolo um, to really test this rubber grip.
So even though the, um, the standard bowl was a heavier piece, this absorbed the impact. I felt just fine. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel like it was going to bounce out of my hand or, or shake itself loose. So overall, I think the rubber grip on the very first blush seems to be a success. If, uh, it's always going to be a personal preference. Um, the way something feels in your hand, it's going to affect the way you train with it. But this is definitely worth, in my opinion, um, taking a good look at because I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Again, I just unwrapped it a few minutes ago, but I'm pretty impressed with how um, confident the grip is with this new wrapping. Mm -hmm. It's again, it's a personal preference, but you can spin. There's no issues with spinning. Power is there. You don't hit power. There's no um, play. play. Thank you. There's no play in it. It's it's good. And with the sweat, still grip. It's fine. And the material on this, the roof slam in it. It's, Great blade material. Yeah, very resilient. Yeah. I like them over the aluminum blades. They're all of the stuff that we've got. Yeah. Resilient. Tech knife training tools are awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, because the grip is different, and because um, we've been talking about how much more secure I feel with it in my hand, we just going to do a standard disarm and see if it prevents your training practice from being affected with. Um, a difference in the grip quality. Because you would think the cord would be easy to strip out of a hand because it's slippery and this is going to be tough because it's... Right, this grips your hand. Right? Yeah. So, so we'll see. Yeah. So again, it's our first time. What you're seeing really is first impressions. Right now. All right. Try it. You want to hold on tighter? I'm going to hold on hold tighter. On I'm going to really resist. All right. I'm Comes right out. Even with focusing on trying to give you a hard time, the, the training technique still works. So, in my opinion, if you're uh, interested in the jungle bolo design, uh, I would give a good hard look at the rubber grip as an option. Uh, again, just using it for the last several minutes, I'm kind of impressed with it. I'm looking forward to working with it. Uh, in much more detail uh, going forward. I've been using it for about a week playing with it. Um, I only had one and I had the, the classic bowl so my students would use classic. And it, it's, I prefer the, the rubber. So try anything you want. There you have it. All right, so the new, for me, brand new, but um, the Jungle Bolo from Tack Knife, based on um, the Precious family bolo. Uh, Grandmaster Bram Frank actually did a very detailed comparison video of the actual live blade against the design and shape of the tack knife model. Um, I highly recommend you check out that video. You, you, they got it right again. The dimensions perfect. are as perfect as you could expect from a, a training tool. So. With that in mind, I hope this helped you. Um, and if you're ever in Elmont, please come to Tactics Martial Arts. Look up Tom. We'll be happy to see you. Have fun training. <laughs>